Hello Caruso School, Mrs. Zotac here. I hope everyone is staying healthy and staying at home. I have a great story to share with you today. Um, I have my rainbow trout here and the book is called Trout Are Made of Trees. Now you might be thinking to yourself, how can trout be made of trees? Well, today we're gonna learn all about the trout food chain. This book is by April Pulley Sayer. Trout are made of trees. In fall, trees let go of leaves, which swirl and twirl and slip into streams. They ride in a rush above rocks and over rapids. They snag and settle soggily down. Bacteria feed on the leaves, algae grow, softening surfaces. Next, the shredders move in. Crane flies, caddis flies, shrimp and stoneflies shred leaves, rip and snip. They eat the algae covered leaves which become part of them. Meanwhile, predators are swimming and stalking. Crunch, there goes the caddis flies. Munch, there go the stoneflies. Now the leaves have become part of the predators. Trout join in, swim and snap. Fins flick, rush, zap. They eat dragonflies, caddisflies, stoneflies, and minnows. The leaves now have become part of the trout. Tree shade keeps the stream cool for spawning. Female trout gather over gravel and lay eggs. The males fertilize the eggs. Here come the hatchlings. I hope you remember what this stage of the uh, trout life cycle was called. They grow up in a stream, crack, curve, plash, shaped by fallen branches. Trout are made of trees. So are the bears and the people who catch the trout and eat them. Here's a little info on the trout life cycle, just as a reminder. Trout are one part of a vast food web and centered in streams and rivers. Trout require cool, clean water to survive. Trees shade streams, helping keep the water cool. As stream water winds its way past fallen branches and rocks, it speeds up in some places and slows down in others. Fast flowing water scours away dirt, leaving gravel. This creates the perfect nesting place for trout. Fanning her tail and fins, a female trout sweeps away the top layer of gravel to create a pit, that's called the nest. She lays several thousand eggs in the nest. A male trout swims over the nest and fertilizes the eggs. The male and female cover the eggs with gravel, then they leave. In about a month, the eggs hatch. Each young trout, called an alvin, has a yolk sac attached to its body. This sac provides nutrients. Once the sac is used up and absorbed into its body, the alvin swims out of the gravel. At this stage, young trout are called fry. That's the third life cycle stage. Fry hide in quiet pools among tree roots and branches that have fallen into the water. They eat aquatic insects, insects that live in the water, as well as tiny crustaceans and plankton. Many of these creatures feed on leaves that fall into the stream. As the trout grow, they also feed on larger animals such as snails, small fish, tadpoles, and adult frogs. When trout mature, they spawn or mate and produce a new generation of trout. These trout, like their parents, feed on the insects who feed on the leaves that fall from the trees near the stream. All right, so let's go over a quick little food web. We all know this is a sun, right? This is what gives all living things energy. Here we have a tree. A tree is called a producer because it produces its own food. Now this is an insect you probably haven't heard of before. It's called a mayfly. And the mayfly eats the leaves that fall into the stream. And we all know what this is called, right? A rainbow trout. And a rainbow trout is a predator, so it eats the mayflies. Now the rainbow trout is not 
the top of the food chain. Here we have a river otter that actually will eat the trout. So let's review that one more time. We have our river otter that eats the trout and the trout eats the mayflies and the mayflies eat the leaves. And there you have it, that is your trout food chain. I hope everyone has a great week. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye everyone.